Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about equivalent fractions. And equivalent fractions are fractions that are actually the same. So our learning goal for today says, I can recognize and show that equivalent fractions have the same size, but not necessarily the same shape. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are just your dry erase board. So make sure you grab that before we get started. All right, friends, so we have the whole is all of the cubes that we see here, okay? We have the red and the blue. The whole is all of them. What fraction of the cubes are blue? Okay, well, there's four parts and one is blue, so that's one-fourth. Okay, so the whole is all of these cubes. What fraction of the cubes are blue? Yeah, four equal parts, one is blue, so that's one-fourth. All right, so here we have both of those that we just looked at, both of those models. Are the fractions of blue cubes in these models equal, even though the models are not the same shape? Hmm, so somebody says, no, they don't look the same, so they're different. Ah, but then one of you says, yeah, they are the same because they're both one-fourth blue. They're equal because the units are still the same size and the holes have the same number of units. So they're just in a different shape. Ah, so I see what you guys are saying, that the units make a different shape in the second model. It's a square rather than a rectangle, which is, you know, I see that. Take another minute to notice what is similar about the models. Okay, so they both use the cubes, right, as their unit. They both have the same amount of blues and reds, and both holes have the same number of units, four, and the same, and the units are the same size. So the size of the unit and the size of the hole didn't change. That means that one-fourth and one-fourth are equal, or what we call equivalent fractions, even though our shapes and holes are different. So yeah, they are the same. Uh, the fractions are equal. They're equivalent to each other. So pretty cool, friends. All right, so let's dive into this a little bit more. So we're going to label the fraction of each shape, or what fraction, sorry. We're going to label what fraction of each shape is shaded, and then circle the fractions that are equal or equivalent. So here's some examples. You're going to pause the video, you're gonna label each fraction of the shaded part and then circle the ones that are the same or equivalent. All right, friends, so on your dry erase board, would be a little bit trickier to draw these. So instead of drawing, just write the fractions in order. So for example, let's look at this first one. You would write on your paper one fourth or on your dry erase board. Then you could write two fourths and then one fourth and then just circle the ones that are the same. One fourth is equivalent. Even though these shapes look different, they're equivalent. So on your dry erase board, especially for the next couple of examples, just write the fraction and then circle the two fractions that are equivalent. Okay, don't spend the time drawing these shapes. I already drew them for you. All right, let's look at another example. So we're gonna do the same thing. Label what fraction of each shape is shaded and then circle the fractions that are equal. So pause the video, label the fractions, and then circle the ones that are equal, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so my first shape, the fraction that is shaded, is 3 sixths. Then I go to my middle shape, it's also 3 sixths. And then my last shape is 4 sixths. So my two fractions that are equal are 3 sixths and 3 sixths. Okay, so again, the shapes look different, but they end up having the same fraction. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so same thing. Here's your three shapes. Go ahead and write and label the fraction for each shape that is shaded, and then circle the fractions that are equal or equivalent. So pause the video. 
do that and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so the first shape is five tenths. There are five parts shaded, 10 total parts. The second one is five tenths, and the third one is six tenths. So the two that are equal or equivalent are my first two shapes. Do you guys get that too? Oh, you guys are pros, great job. All right, so I'm so proud of you guys for doing such a great job with recognizing and showing that equivalent fractions have the same size, but not necessarily the same shape. So great job with that. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.